Okay, what up, y'all? What up, y'all? This is your Star Action News Report of your hood reaction guru from the toilet. Uh, back with another recap from last night's games. Uh, hold on, let me brush my hair. Okay, but anyway, let's get back to it, man. Uh, recapping last night's game. Uh, as y'all know, the, the Miami Heat have advanced to the second or the third round of the Eastern Conference uh, uh, playoffs. They are now in the Eastern Conference Finals. Uh, I am not shocked, but I am kind of disappointed because I thought the Philadelphia 76ers would have had a better opportunity uh, of getting to the finals this year uh, under the leadership of Joel B. Howard. If he didn't miss those first two games due to that, well, yeah, really, if he didn't miss that, the first two games due to the orbital fracture, whatever the situation was, if he did not miss those games, we will be talking in different narrative right now. We'll be talking about the Sixers going to the finals, and I mean going to the finals because they would walk right through the Bucks because they speed, and then also... Um, I know for a fact, Giannis, he can't do anything with Joel B. He can't do nothing with that guy. Okay, he's the best player right now probably in the game. Uh, minus probably you can say Luka Doncic because he's been on fire right now. And then Steph Curry is like a, a short a short end third. But uh, Joel B, man, he, oh my God, he's unbelievable. But, you know, that's how the cookie crumbles, man. People get hurt. You know, they didn't expect Luka to come back and, you know, he's having a, a hell of a, a run right now uh, in their second round against the Suns, number one team. But I'm, I'm, I'm still thinking the Suns going to close that out. They got to be real careful, though, because Luka has been having some impressive performances, okay? And uh, you want to mess around and get caught slipping, okay, because they will. He will, he will, he will be throwing you, and I'm, I'm talking about that to be epic. Especially for me too because I get a lot of views off of that if Luca go to the next round. The Western Conference will be his first time in his career. It's only what second, third year in the league. Uh the guys were 21, 22 years old. Luca in the Western Conference Finals and potentially could make it to the finals. Okay, he got a very good chance of doing that. Okay, if uh he stay healthy because that's the issue. You know, these big stars they are there's the expectation for them now is just like uh, immaculate now okay uh, he got to stay healthy because people expect him to be out there and playing okay they expect that that's what people expect so if Luke could get that done that would be incredible back to the series man uh, like I said I'm disappointed man because I thought the Sixers would have had a great opportunity and then you know they threw James Harden in that mix but you know, this was like the wrong timing, okay? Uh, they should have tried to get James Harden early on before the season started because he did say, I think that was one of the places he did want to go. He did want to go to Philadelphia, okay? But, you know, Kyrie and them got in his ear, Kevin Durant now, and, you know, he wound up in Brooklyn. He thought that was going to be a perfect fit, which I think it, it was a perfect fit. However, you know, once again, the trio couldn't stay healthy. Okay, Kyrie didn't want to take the vaccine. Okay, and then KD got hurt for a spell. James was sitting out of games. So then they changed that whole personnel up, just like the, the Lakers did, you know, trading people away and stuff like that. That can mess up the team chemistry, but it did mess up the team chemistry. So, you know, James was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Okay, now next year, they'll have a better shot and then they can bring in somebody else too they probably need like a another back a, a, well I'm gonna say Maxi is not the perfect guard for them right now but they do need a bigger guard because they're gonna need a, a real good perimeter defensive type of a player uh, if it's a guard I'll say somebody like a D'Angelo Russell or you know Reggie Jackson somebody that can clamp down on these bigger guards that you know Maxi will have to go up against okay because he can't he can't match up to these guys, man. They're too big. Maybe at half a time, they just, you know, just, uh, uh, they can overpower him in certain situations. But his speed is 
pretty good. Him and Garland, like I said, they they pretty good, but they too small at they size at that position now because now the point guards are like six five and up. So Lonzo Ball would be a perfect fit. But you know, it is what it is. So uh, we'll see how it turn out for the Philadelphia 76ers next year. But this was a really good game. Uh, but once again, Jimmy Butler, incredible the way he was picking his moments in the series. I did the reactions. I watched every game. And, you know, he was subtle with his approach. Same thing how James Harden was trying to take it. But, you know, he was, you know, it was the wrong place for him right now. You know, he got no team chemistry really with those guys yet. But he was starting to develop that. You know, you got to think about how many games have James Harden played with them. He just got over there. Okay, he ain't played with 20, 20 or less than 20 games with them. So, you know, you got to think about that and you know, uh, take all that into consideration. You know, James was at the wrong place at the wrong time. You know, especially be pushing for a playoff run, you know. And then he got to get used to a new coach, Doc Rivers. You know, someone has no tolerance and they're going to handle all that ego stuff and all that. But it is what it is, so... Um, better luck next year, beard, beard man. Uh, my Bill Cosby looking ass, but what I call my man, I love James Harden though, for real. And also, I got a sidebar, man. I did do, uh, I was practicing a James Harden step back move. You know, uh, this was about, about a week ago. I did it. So I'm gonna post that video on the end, the end screen. And, you know, click on the, click, click on the video, man, so y'all can check it out. And I got a down pack. You know, I'm doing my vertical leaps in the house now. They got it from John John Morant. So it has helped me be more explosive and get back to dunking. <clears throat> so I will be out there. And my girlfriend just finished up a photo shoot. She in New York. And she's like, I want you to out here. You know, she said, you know, you need to be out here. And stuff like that. So I will be in New York. I'm going up there on the 27th, 28th, and 29th. And I'm bringing her back to Chicago. And I just told her, like, I might as well turn the production company into a LLC because it's not I don't this is not an LLC it's a regular production company and I'm a sole proprietor so you know I'm beginning from the other YouTubers so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get the I got the tax ID number already but I'm gonna get I have to get another tax ID number uh, so I can establish another business account which would be no problem and you know I can solicit people to do stuff you know and, have employees and stuff like that. You did like a camera camera guy. I need somebody to walk around with me and stuff and film. And then I was gonna hire my girlfriend to be the editor. Like while she in New York, she gonna be cutting up my videos and stuff because I already taught her how to edit and you know, etc. and so forth. So anybody out there want to join the LM Productions? Come on, okay. Be internationally known and locally respected, kind of, sort of. In my damn inquiry voice. But anyway, I gotta get about this toilet, man. It's all. A lot of time, nobody do it in the toilet. Anyway, I forget about it, man. It's your boy, your star action news reporter, your hood reaction, running off for the plug. Make sure I like, share, comment, subscribe. And I'm gonna holler y'all on that one. You dig? I'm out of here, man. Yeah. 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 Hey, man. I'm just gonna keep it 100 with y'all, man. <sighs> Out there, man. Yeah. I'm saying I ain't the OG, the original. Yeah. Hey, man. Who's the duplicate? Yeah. Who's the duplicate? Who's the duplicate? Yeah. Who's the duplicate? Nigga. Who's the duplicate? Who's the duplicate? Yeah. Nigga. Yeah. 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 I'm a digital motherfucker, OG, nigga. Yeah, don't forget to get your custom t-shirts, you dig what I'm talking about from LC the world. You see the custom prints all over the show, you dig what I'm talking about, we ain't playing no game. The custom sweater, you dig what I'm talking about, yeah, uh-huh, with the back end print on the same. I got the t-shirts as well, you dig, you the sex, long sleeve, you dig, now we got the full zip up, you dig what I'm talking about, stood up with the hood on it, stood up with the back print as well, you dig what I'm talking about, we ain't playing no game. And then I got the full zip up, custom with the pockets on it and stuff, you dig what I'm talking about, back print. 
sweating, sleeve in print. You think I'm talking about prints everywhere. Then I got the yoga pants. You think I'm talking about joggers. You think I'm talking about for men. Then I got the crop new t-shirts for the ladies. You think I'm talking about, look at that. She look comfortable with it. Uh-huh. Then I got the sports bra. You think I'm talking about, get the sports bra. You think I'm talking about the back print print. You think I'm talking about the back print print. You think I'm talking about where you plan on get. And then I got the yoga pants for the ladies. You think I'm talking about biker booty shorts. You think I'm talking about for the, put that piece can round out. You think I'm talking about, then I got the, the yoga leggings. You think I'm talking about slaves. So when she jogging and everything. And I got the capris right there with the custom LC right between the thighs. You think and I got the, the custom socks. You think I'm talking about, you're going to find them on socks like that. Nowhere on the planet. And then, last but not least, I got the LC to wear jersey. You think I'm talking about, then I got the back print on there. Look at that back print. Look good. Then I got the Illmatic one, my street ball jersey with the two fold on it. And then I got the little Steve pull up bag right there for the ladies. You think I'm draw straight back. And then I got the real backpack. You know what I'm talking about? LC to wear. Look at the back. Look at the front. You know what? Look at the top. You think I'm talking about? Everything is looking good. You think I'm talking about? And then I see the worst neighborhood. And then I got the X Star iPhone 10 case. You think I'm talking about? And then I got the iPhone 6 case. 7, 8, 9. Let's order what you want. And then I got the custom print. You think I'm talking about? LC to wear, baby. And then I got the custom mug. I and mean, you want to get drunk and drink and stuff to my store. And then I got the snuggle pillow. I mean, you want to get snuggled with your lady. Yeah.